Welcome back to Sunday Review. I'm sorry, I've, I said earlier that I'm taking only a 5 minutes break. But I've extended to 10 minutes. But I'm happy you're still watching us. And as I, I had told you earlier, that coming soon will be political arena. That's Sunday Dialogue on political arena. And welcome to the Sunday Dialogue. And inside our newsroom, we have serious guests who are also learned political analysts. We have members all the United Democratic Alliance. Um, another one is a member, member of parliament, all to One Kenya Alliance, who will be also telling us why is it that One Kenya Alliance did not invite either United Democratic Alliance party leader William Ruto or Azimiola Umoja party leader Raila Amolo Odinga. Is here with us. He will be telling us. We also have um, member allied to ANC, um, Saliam Dava, the Secretary General for Amani National Congress, will also be telling us why is that they have decided that today there will be bombers of Kenya to declare an earthquake that will bomb or will throw a bomb on political climate in Kenya. Okay. We also have, um, we, I have told you, we have Mrs. Mrs. Delphine Tay, who is also a political analyst there, will be telling us what are the expectations of the youth, what do youth expect, and which leaders are they expected, and how will these leaders help the youth. So she will be telling us on the expectations of the youth, what the youth expects, because this country is led by the youth. We also have Honorable Alex Kama, who is a member of the United Democratic Alliance, will also be telling us on how United Democratic Alliance has strategies to ensure that when elected, Kenyans will be safe and Kenyan economy will be safe at large. Do not forget Dante, Honorable Dante, who is also a member of parliament allied to as Miola Moja and Old Orange Democratic Party will also be telling us what are the strategies of Azmiola Moja. We saw the other day when we were launching Azmiola Moja movement to declare Raila Molo Dinga to finally contest for presidential bid. And we they were very good and serious manifestos like Baba Care, the six thousand for the less fortunate. So he will be telling us today live on BK Live, on Sunday Dialogue, on Political Arena, how are they going to achieve to ensure that Baba Care is achieved and um, 6,000 is given to the less fortunate. Just continue tuning in live. Just And oh, without forgetting, we also have a Mrs. Doreen uh, Jarumi who will be also uh, joining us on online. And she will be also telling us on what are the expectations of the Jubilee Party as it joined Azimio Laumoja to popularize the Azimio Laumoja presidential bed. As I should tell you earlier that this guest or this political analyst will give you way forward on which way to choose either the One Kenya Alliance, the United Democratic Alliance, or the Azmiyo Laumoja movement. And from watching political dialogue, uh, after watching this Sunday dialogue on political arena by BK Live, you will have your way forward. And you will neither be confused when it comes to August 9, 2022. Remember, Sunday dialogue only gives you way forward, but does not force you or tell you to choose or elect a certain leader. Remember, you elect a leader depending on your view, on how you have seen their manifestos, track records, agendas, and on your weighing. But Sunday Review or Sunday Dialogue does not tell you to elect William Ruto and not Raila Odinga. That's your own decision depending on how you will weigh. So this is BK Live. Just We'll be starting by Honorable Delphine Tay to tell us what are the expectations of the youth. Then from there, uh, we'll also have Honorable Alex Kama will be also defending United Democratic Alliance and without forgetting Azmiola Omoja, Honorable Dante. 
as you're watching you can send your comment your question on our social media platforms you can send your tweet you can send your comment on facebook i'll be reading direct on our screen